Welcome to Napier. We'll start the story right at the start. So last week I was meant to make a flight to Napier. Air New Zealand cancelled my flight and then Sunday it took two hours to rebook the flight to come to Napier. On Wednesday, Wednesday morning I got to the airport and Air New Zealand cancelled the flights again. Uh, I rebooked for Thursday and have finally flown up to Napier. Leaving Nelson was okay, going into Wellington was a nightmare. It was rough as guts. Coming into Napier was probably worse. It was pretty brutal landing here. But finally made it up and I'm back up at the Senator Factory. And probably what I haven't actually been telling you guys for a number of reasons is I'm starting the new build. And the new boat is going to be 770 Senator. I could not be more excited about this build because the 770 is that boat that I've wanted for the last four years. I'm up here going through the build with all the team at Senator. Um, you know we've got the changes so we've got like in here you can have club fridge, how that like how that space changes. Yeah. And then you you know you've got your different helm seats so your helm seat is obviously an oven and then drawers whereas this is like a three tier shelf yeah with um with a bolster and a slider swivel like all set up ready to go but at least it's like it takes away that mystery i guess of like people trying to buy into a senator they can they can see what they're going to get yeah yeah with like quite a pretty high detail has anyone spoken about the bait board yet do you know no do you know what the, what's going on here yeah, I got the little senator logo. <laughs> that's cool eh? Hey? Yeah, there's like little hidden Easter eggs on there on the on the design, but you just don't see them because they're like it's such fine detail that drawn in any of the throttle box in here. Um, but like how your shelves work behind the helm seat as well. Yeah. So like the different versions of helm seats and stuff like that you can select from. Yep. So there'll be like there'll still heat be shitloads of things to select on the boat, especially when you're looking at something like as big as a 770. You know you've got different types of locking wheelhouse, whether you've got hinging doors or slide stackers or whether you've got um, you know, a, a fridge under here or whether you've got an oven or just trying to keep as many design options as we can. This is, this is actually your seat here. Oh is it? Yeah. Nice. So it's, it's already it called? a oven helm seat with a fabricated seat. Talking of like camera angles and stuff. Um, you almost want to have like a something up here, eh? So that you can. The yeah, lads are going to put that plate on the back where I've got the old um, railblazer arm in the middle there. Oh, like somewhere over here. So that's going to be the deck cam, and then I've got two side cams, and then I've got the old pole cam. You got like a um, like a GoPro up here, eh? Yeah. Just like watching the whole time. Maybe um, get the lads to put on another um, rod holder on an angle on the side. Whereabouts? Yeah, just like. Just Mine are clamped onto that side arm there. Oh yeah? So that you can film from here. Then I can film it out and aim it back at the boat. Yeah, see, because you kind of, you almost want to be able to film from here, eh? That's the shot. We want that whole front shot, don't we? Yeah, ideally. That front window as well, even going forward, do you? Oh, like that there. Like down here somewhere. So it would be, it'll be slightly different. Have you got the cage? You have got a cage. Cage, well. yeah. I just want to say right here, a massive thanks to Senator, massive thanks to Yamaha, Franco and Pete, and Laura from Simrad. Thanks for all your support and sponsorship. Can't wait to finally show you guys the new 770. It's in the build process now. What I'm going to do is do a bit of a walkthrough and show you the where we're at at the moment. You're right. Come out, buddy. Right, we're going inside. I don't know how much I can show you. Just he heading into the beast now. Uh, Alan. This is Alan Day's 770, and we're heading in now, and so, here you go team. This is the new beast. 
And right there is Brad, who is building my new beast. So Brad is just doing the under table draw at the moment. So Brad's my legendary best friend because <laughs> he's building my new boat. But that there is my new draw for under the under the table. Yep, under the false floor there. Brad's hard at it. How much further along do you reckon we are from the finishing? Oh, it would be uh, three to four weeks, probably. There's still yeah. quite a lot, hey? Yeah, Even it's, though it looks finished, it's still weeks to yeah, go. Yeah, the back end, is, uh, it's got a fair bit of stuff going on. Like live bait tank into the full transom, so yeah, it'd be pretty neat. It's a neat boat. We'll, um, we'll go through. It's just um, way better than Dan Gobia's boat. Yeah, way better. Way better. way better. more design, more custom. Way more lights. Yeah. Way more lights. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rog in the background. G'day, Rog. No, he's just gone. He just can't be bothered. Well, we might do a bit of... Do you want to do a walkthrough of what you've done so far for me, or what? Yeah, cool. Yep. Sweet. I'll grab the specs, so I remember it all. <laughs> we started off with the roof, which um, we've got a sh shitload of rod holders. There's uh, 21 on just on the roof. Um, we've got 200 mil extended overhang on the roof. We've got uh, club seating that folds down into a bed, which is getting a lot of, uh, I think it's getting memory foam upgrade, which is pretty cool. Um, come forward, seeing a gas cooker and um, a gas install, which will, the gas bottle will be up on the roof as per safety standards and whatnot. Um, in the fridge under the door side seat, which, uh, yeah, keep your beers cold and whatnot. It's a table through here, which ends up dropping down. Um, that seat's usually up like that, and obviously the table can drop down. That's for my old man. Yeah, the old boy can go for his, go for an You know, with the pod, the pods that is it. You call this the pod, eh? Yep. Yeah, dash helm, helm pod. Yeah. Yeah, helm pod. So what have we? What we've done here, or what Brad's done? What have we done? Raised uh, it. We raised it 60 mil, and then added another 80 mil to the to the top. So you can fit your screens in and fit your autopilot and all the all the goodies you got going in it and all, all the switches for your million lights. You know? <laughs> so you've got, got room for all that up at the front. Room for the 12 inch Simrad on the dash there. Little, that'll sit up there like that somewhere. This is, this is the, the mount for the 12 inch Simrad. If you look at it on the dash, it is tiny. I can't believe that's actually 12 inch. <laughs> That is a midget looking 12 inch screen. Looks tiny, but it's a big boat. Pop that open. A lot of area in there. That's the heaps of room, eh? Yeah. Another bed for the kids. <laughs> yeah, you, got a, you should get you around. Oh, load it up. Yeah, now. it should be expensive to fill, but it'll be loaded up. Last your while. Yeah. <laughs> and Brad's done the custom drawers here. So these drawers, um, the top one's the rigging, and then the two bottom ones are designed to fit um, the Black Magic tackle trays. So Brad's designed that and made that. So it'll fit five of them across there, and then I've got room for more gear. Up the top there, I've got uh, rigging. Uh, yeah, those drawers are custom to fit the Black Magic tackle trays. And I get five on the top, five below, so 10 total in there. The top's all the rigging gear, and in the back I've got uh, like the big blue bottom bangers to fit in containers and other bits of rigging as well. So I've pretty much, I was telling the boys actually that what I actually did at home was made drawers out of Heineken boxes. So I can plan what actually fits in each of the drawers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm out of, out of control, out of control. 1020 bow rail on it, off the sides. So we put the um, top bump rail on as well. And then we uh, add the bump, uh, bow rail and go up the sides. Gives it a little bit more foot room when walking around the front, you know. Yeah. They look they look badass as well, I reckon. Yeah, I quite like the way they look. Puffs out quite wide. Yes, yeah, for everything else, it'll get um, it'll end up getting a radar arch on the roof and um, you know all your all your bits. Oh, right, not radar arch, sorry, the radar bracket yeah. to hold all your gear and yeah. Yeah. Thing. yeah. <laughs> It was great to head back up to Napier to the Senator factory, catch up with all the awesome team at Senator, go through the boat and check out Brad's progress to date. The boat is looking awesome and Brad has done an outstanding job. 
make my way home back now to Nelson and I can't wait to get back up in a month or two's time and check out the boat in its final stages. Yeah.